the polar bear in Sydney Harbour. One Saturday afternoon, a ferry cut its way across Sydney Harbour with a girl named Hannah on board. She was on her way home from the zoo. As she looked across the shimmering water, Hannah saw something that would change everything. A polar bear in Sydney Harbour. Now Sydney is home to many amazing things, but polar bears are not one of them. Sydney is down under and polar bears are from, well, up over. He must be quite the adventurer, Hannah thought. Hannah's ferry docked and so did the polar bear's iceberg. Running over as fast as she could, she wasn't prepared for quite how enormous polar bears are. What's your name? Hannah asked. But the polar bear just gazed at her. Well, if it's up to me, I think I'll call you Rodney. Hannah and Rodney were an unlikely pair, but she always wanted a pet. After his long journey, Rodney's tummy was rumbling. Hannah knew just the thing. She's got him fish and chips for lunch. And when a seagull ate one of Rodney's chips, Rodney ate the seagull. Hannah was worried her parents wouldn't let her take Rodney home. But oddly, they didn't seem to notice him at all. At home, Hannah could see Rodney was feeling hot. His coat was far too heavy for a Sydney summer. So she grabbed her dad's beard trimmer and gave Rodney a haircut, which took a couple of goes to get right. First, she gave him a mullet and moustache, then pigtails, and then a mohawk. Hannah looked closely at Rodney's hair. She was amazed by how shiny and reflective it was. Rodney was still hot, so Hannah took him down the road for a cold drink. And that's when it struck her. Rodney hadn't come to Sydney for an adventure. He'd come by accident. As much as she wanted to keep him, Hannah knew she needed to put things right. Can you see Rodney's tear? The icy cold drink has made him miss home. He's feeling homesick. For a job this big, Hannah knew she'd need some help. But if her own parents hadn't noticed Rodney, how would she get anyone else's attention? Hannah decided to take Rodney down to bustling Bondi Beach. Someone was bound to spot him there. Would you spot a polar bear at the beach? But down on the sand, everyone was too busy relaxing to notice the girl with the polar bear. Next, they caught a train into town. But in the crowded carriage, not a single person glanced at Rodney. They didn't even look up from their phones. Hannah was sure Rodney would get the attention of Sydney's Christmas shoppers. But the crowds were too enthralled by the festive scenes in the shop windows to see a real life polar bear beside them. As the sun set on the day, Hannah and Rodney returned home, feeling defeated. It was there with the glow of the lighthouse shining through the window that Hannah had an idea. She told Rodney the plan, and later that night he ventured out to put her plan into action. When Rodney arrived at the lighthouse, he followed Hannah's instructions 
and climbed all the way to the very top. As the revolving light turned towards him, it lit up Rodney's unique reflective fur. And suddenly, Rodney beamed more brightly than anything you'd ever seen. The brightness of Rodney's coat woke up Sydney ciders far and wide, and no one could ignore him a second longer. Except maybe this little baby. Still asleep, but I don't think her parents are complaining. The next day, Hannah and Rodney were back at the harbour. Thanks to one girl's bright idea, the city had arranged a ferry to take Rodney home. It was time for the friends to say their farewells. They hugged and Hannah gave Rodney a goodbye gift. She gave him a snow globe, but instead of a wintry scene, it's Sydney Harbour so that Rodney can remember his adventures in Sydney with Hannah. He seemed to like it very much. And here we can see Rodney heading north. Comes from Sydney on this ferry. Up and all the way to the Arctic. Back home. And that's the end of our story.